Hello everyone. I recently acquired a couple of Zulu shotguns that um, needed some repair, stock work. This one in particular, the stock was pretty well busted up on it. Huh. And um, I went ahead and repaired the stock on it just to get it shooting again. My other one had some metal work that needed done. And I got it shooting again as well. Now, finding reloading information on these, uh, there's a lot, there's information out there, but for me, it's not very clear. And these are black powder shotguns. Um, they were originally a military uh, gun for the French Army, um, and then. That they were muzzle-loading rifles, and then they were converted to a Snyder system to become a breech-loading rifle, and then they were surplused out and converted to 12-gauge shotgun. Black powder, of course, if I haven't said that already. So trying to find clear information on how to reload these, I discovered that there are several methods to reload them. A lot of them involve cutting down the shell to two and one half inches. Um, however, after I did some investigation on the shotgun that I have, I took and put a scale down in the bore and it actually measures, if once you hit that shoulder, if I can get this to focus, almost two and three quarters just a little under two and three quarter inches deep from the edge of the rim of the shell to the end of the chamber. So what I've discovered is this particular shell is two and five eighths long without trimming to the rim. So that means I don't have to trim the shell if I don't want to. I incidentally bought these at a local gun shop. They had them in a bag, used shells. And uh, so I bought them just to get started. So I'm reloading these by hand and I built a tool. It's a three quarter diameter piece of 304 stainless, just something that happened to be laying around in the shop I work in. And I made a uh, a primer punch to knock out the old primers and I made a block out of a piece of plastic we have bunches of in the shop and you'll see it has a counter bore in it with a hole through it and you can set your uh, shell in there like that. Now I'm trying to do this one-handed, but anyway, the next thing you do is you put this down in there. And if I can get it to balance. And I use a rubber mallet. And this is probably going to fly because I can't do this two-handed. And it uh, knocks the primer out, as you can see. I knocked the primer out. The next thing I do is I take the other end, which has a little bit of a chamfer on, and I stick it down in the shell, and I just expand in a little bit so I can put my powder and my wads and my cap on it when I'm ready. Now, I bought me a little 5-ton arbor press, and I have it mounted to my reloading table, and it comes in handy for a lot of different things. And in this case, I put the, rot, the, oh, the piece of plastic on the arbor press. This really is difficult doing it one-handed. Definitely not a professional video. And I lay a 209 primer on there. And then I have a piece of wood dowel. This is 5 8 wood dowel that I cut down to just go in to the shell like that. And then I set it on here like this. And then I use the arbor press to gently press this uh, new primer 
into the shell. Now I can't hold the phone and do this at the same time. So you're going to have to just assume I did it. So I'm going to do this and I'll get back with you here. Okay, I have it set up so I can go ahead and show you. But you just gently press that in like that. And it's ready for the next operation.